ready the national development council is charged with the responsibility of providing guidelines to the planning commission the detailed work on planning can be undertaken only when you have given the indications i should like to emphasize at this stage that we are not concerned with the details of the plan in this meeting but only with the basic approach to the plan of course this is just as important because it limits the plan itself to some extent the major issues are the overall goals which we seek the tempo and pattern of development the national effort discipline cooperation and determination required for reaching the set goals we have for instance to address ourselves to the problem of the rate of growth do we consider it adequate or do we think that it should be less or more if we think that a rate of 5% or 6% is essential are we prepared to make the necessary effort in terms of mobilization of resources despite the progress registered in many directions the broad fact remains that the real income per head is exceedingly low growth has not made a significant impact on the living standard of the people and has not provided opportunities for full employment or for reducing differences that is why the rate of growth in the future is a matter of crucial importance planning for a 6% growth of the economy in conditions of diminishing external aid is a bold understanding are we prepared to undertake it is there the national will for this on the other hand can we possibly do less our efforts necessarily must be vigorous we need therefore a firm direction a longer vision and commitment to action the national development council is the supreme body of our nation and can give this lead and impart this confidence to our people the right policies and programs must be backed by the necessary resources physical as well as financial if we aim at having a buffer stock of food grains it has to be financed as part of the program of price stability there must be development and promotion of agriculture increased credit facilities should be given to the weaker sections of the farming community facilities in regard to roads transport and communications will have to be expanded basic industries will also have to be expanded to promote rapid growth of industry i am sure the members of the council will give serious thought to this problem of resource mobilization we cannot talk of progressive elimination of pl480 grain imports and the reduction of foreign and without devising ways and means to raise the necessary additional resources a large part of the annual increases in income will accrue in the rural sector particularly amongst the prosperous farmers who will benefit by the developmental effort it is evident that the mobilization of resources must take full cognizance of this fact our attitude in this matter should cease to be equivocal another range of problem to which the planning commission has drawn attention is related to the operation of a mixed economy a number of questions arise what combination of market forces and administrative directions is most suitable for resource allocation what role should be assigned to the public sector and how can it be made important and effective how do we encourage private enterprise without concentration of wealth and economic power the planning commission has tried to strike a balance between the various sectors and has made proposals for consideration in this respect again we must provide a clear lead and guidance i hope the chief ministers will pardon me if i mention a problem which has been worrying me there is sometimes talk of fighting the center i cannot see how the country can be strengthened 
by any such infighting or by the tensions which it is bound to generate the present situation requires a concerted and united effort to pull out of the rut in which we find ourselves i want to assure the chief ministers that i am fully aware of the difficulties which confront our states and sympathize with their just demands i am unhappy that we cannot do all that is indeed to help them but i do hope that in this meeting we shall not follow the old pattern of repeating our grievances against the center or against anyone else but will make a conscious effort to assess the major economic difficulties on a national plane and see how each state can play its part to overcome them only thus can a situation be created when the center will be in a position to come to the assistance of the states i am told that even without planning we could achieve some growth but it is obvious that this kind of growth would give rise to acute tensions in society a free market economy can bring economic growth but will not bring the kind of equality of opportunity which the vast underprivileged masses expect dear sir we are glad to learn from your letter of the 5th june 1975 that you are interested in the purchase of new furniture we have much pleasure in enclosing a copy of our illustrated catalog which we trust will be of interest to you you will see that our special exchange system extends a helping hand to all prospective purchasers of new furniture in other words we are willing to value and take away your old furniture allowing its worth against the new we shall be pleased to open an account with you and to allow you the normal credit facilities on the other hand should you require purchase under our simple and economic higher purchase system the value of your old furniture will also be accepted as all or part of your deposit we are at the moment holding large stocks of kitchen furniture including kitchen tables with heat resisting tops in all colors as illustrated and detailed in our catalog here with sent we have chairs in cheerful colors to match these tables for 25 rupees we stock all well known brands of kitchen cabinets and popular sink units you are invited to visit our showrooms and examine our excellent collection of kitchen equipment but should distance prevent you from calling we shall be pleased to send you any item of furniture on approval to enable you to view the quality of our productions finally we draw your attention to our recently formed furniture club in which you can deposit amounts of money convenient to your income at regular or irregular intervals until you wish to choose your furniture which will be stored free of charge while awaiting your delivery requirements should you order from us we guarantee that you will be obtaining the finest possible value available for purchase at the present time all our furniture is guaranteed for 5 years against fault in material or workmanship we also assure you that our kitchen furniture and equipment are of the finest variety and the price at which they are offered by us is comparatively low when compared with similar products manufactured by other concerns yours faithfully